everyone welcome to my kitchen lately I've been getting many questions about gadgets or the appliances which I use it in my videos so I thought let me come by now of them talk to you guys more in the detail about it give you my thoughts and recommendation on this these are the appliances that I think that we must have it in Indian kitchen to make our life easy so let's get started so I have all my appliances right here so let's start from this corner okay so let's start with this juicer first and i know that not everyone into making fresh juice but if you are one of them i would highly suggest this one this one is from company called comfy i do have a separate video where i share more detail about it so i'm gonna link it down below in the description box the one thing i don't like about this juicer is whenever you put the fresh fruit or the vegetables in it you have to cut them into smaller pieces in order to fit up there other than that this juicer as you can see it's a very compact it's quiet because i do have another two juicer from the other company so i can compare to that one but this one is much compact doesn't require much space on the counter as well as it's much quiet also so the next one i have here is this cuisinart coffee grinder no i don't grind my own coffee bean but the way i use this is whenever i want to make the garam masala i use this or any kind of dry spices that i want to make it in the powder form i use this as you can see it has a different setting so you can set it up however you want it i have this coffee grinder from last i would say five plus years and i use this regularly and it's still in a good shape so i would highly suggest this also the next one i have here is my most used blender and that is this ninja blender set many of you always ask me too what kind of blender i'm using it always this one whenever i want to chop onion garlic ginger i use this small one or i'm making gravy then i use one of this when I'm in a time crunch, when I want things needs to be done right away and I need to chop onion, then I just use this one. It is so powerful. So many of you also like this too. Always ask me about this blender. So I would highly, highly recommend this entire set. So the next one I have here is this Cuisinart blender. So whenever I want to mix something and I want to make sure there is no any lumps in it or it mixed properly, that's where I use this. And I'm sure everyone must be very familiar with this how to use this but i cannot imagine my life without this because whenever i'm making kadi or dal where i want to make sure that uh, i kind of puree the dal that's where i use this so the next one i have here is this hand chopper this is from tupperware and yeah this one also get the job done but if you are in a time crunch, then definitely you want to use the Ninja. So the next one I have here is this rice cooker. Now, I think rice cooker is a must in any kitchen because, of course, you can make rice. You can make khichdi in there. If you have a young kids, you can also make mac and cheese in there, too. Let's say if you are a working mother, in the morning, you can start this. By the time you come in the evening, rice is ready and it keeps warm for you also because when you start you can push this down to cook when it's done it keep it to the warm and one less thing you have to worry about next one i have here is this small pan i use this for tadka it is perfect size for that and the thing i like about it is it is deep enough so that way oil and everything doesn't splash everywhere Next I have here is this two different size of uh, whisk. Anytime I want to mix dry ingredients, I use this. And this one is the silicone spatula. So if you're using nonstick or the steel pan, you do want to use this so that way it will not scratch the pan. And this one, I'm sure you all know how to use this or what we use this for. But I do have this two different size of strainer. And the one that I like the most is this one. Because this one, you can just pop it open like this. It is silicone. And uh, I bought this from Amazon. It comes in a package. So I believe there was one bigger than this one and then this one. So I'm going to link it down below in the description box. So next I have here is this onion chopper. I get so many questions about this. 
Uh, this one I bought it from Bed Bath Beyond and whenever I want fine chopped onion, I use this. You can use this for onion, tomato, bell pepper, cucumber, and as you can see, it comes with the two different size. I have not used this one so far, but this one definitely I would recommend because I have used many brand before. Somehow they don't last long, but this one is really good. So the next one I have here is this uh, panini maker. Now this one is from a company called Bella. I bought this one last Christmas. I believe either it was JCPenney or Macy's. I'm not sure, but it was really inexpensive. I have used God knows how many times, but whenever I want to make the press sandwich, I use this one. It is very user friendly. There is not much thing going on here and it is wide enough so you can make like two sandwich at once. So definitely this one is highly recommended. I do have the video uh, where I share different recipe using this machine. So I'm going to link it down below in the description box. So here I have this slow cooker. Now this brand and the sandwich maker brand is the same one. I bought both of this at the same time. Slow cooker I think is a must in our kitchen because dal that require more time to cook and then it tastes really good. Like dal makhani, soup, vegetarian chili or Gujarati dal then this slow cooker comes really handy for that. I do have the video where I show how I use it. Uh, I'm going to link that video down below in the description box. So again, let's say if you are a working mother, you can prepare the dal in the morning in here as well as put the rice in the rice cooker. So by the time you come home, dal and chawal is ready for you. So all you need to do is just make sabji and roti and your dinner will be ready in no time. So definitely I would say slow cooker is a must. I have used this also many times before and this whole thing comes up so let's say if you are going to someone's house for party or potluck anything you can just take this with you and uh, you don't have to transfer that into any other pot so definitely i would highly suggest this one also so here I have this rice cooker. Now, if you're a family of four, then the one that I show you earlier, that is the perfect size. But let's say if you have about 15, 20 people coming at your house, you wanna make biryani, pulao, or simply rice, then you can use this kind of one. I do have three different size of rice cooker. And the one that I use most is that other one. This one was gift to me when I got married. I haven't used it so far, but I'll show you how it looks from inside. But it keep rice fresh for about five days. So I'll show you how it looks from inside. So it comes with this. And this is the actual cooker. So the function is really simple for this. Once you turn it on, you can keep this down to cook. It will cook. Once it's done, it's gonna go back to warm. So this is it friends. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it is helpful to you guys. If you have any other question, leave the comments below and I'll make sure that I answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.